Greetings. I had a couple questions this week in class about weight transfers, and uh, it all falls into the category of continuity. It's one of the main principles of Tai Chi. Uh, continuity of movement, breathing, and weight transference are the basic ideas behind it. So when we start doing Tai Chi, our weight is evenly distributed. And once we start the form, our weight settles to one side so we can step or move with the other side, and that starts that weight transference. And we want to make it continuous. Um, it's fairly obvious when, uh, when you're taking a step, the weight transferred to one side so you can step with the other. Um, but it's the same idea when you do a pivot and on some of the moves where it's much more subtle, for instance, on open, closed hands, after the start of the form, uh, when we do commencement, we've got our first move where we step out, and you can see the weight transference because I'm stepping with my left, and then I follow step with my right. Now, on the open, closed hands, a lot of times folks will just let the weight settle evenly between the two legs. We want to actually transfer the weight during the opening portion towards the direction of the next step and then the closing portion away from that side so we're ready, we'll be ready to take that step. So for instance, after the first step forward in commencement, we're ready for open close hands. We're going to transfer the weight to the right side as we open and then we're going to bring the weight back over into the left side as we close so we're ready to step for single whip right. And then of course this is obvious, the weight goes right the weight goes left. But we're, when we're doing our open close hand on some of the movements where it doesn't involve a pivot, it's not as obvious. Same idea applies to open close before single whip left. As I'd open the hands, my weight goes into the left, and as I close the hands, the weight goes into the right, so I'm prepared to take that step with the left foot for single whip left. So that weight transference, you want to try and have a sense that it's continuous. Any part of the form where the weight stops moving, uh, you want to ask about that because there should be a weight transfer going on continuously throughout the form. If you find these videos useful, you can contribute to support them at patreon.com slash edkeo. Thanks for watching.